Under proclamations and special announcements, today we lost a, uh, a, a dear friend, Brian Barber. He uh, was a fixture around here, worked for the Tulsa World. He will surely be missed. Would uh, any counselor like to speak on that? Councilor Bynum. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Walking in here tonight, uh, get to see something I've been dreading seeing, which is a council chamber without Brian Barber in it. I was really pleased to see the article uh, in the paper today, which was so well written, because I think most people in Tulsa were impacted by Brian Barber and didn't know who he was, didn't know the courage that he had. Uh, I knew him. He was one of my dear friends, uh, which is saying something. You know, politicians do not usually have friendly relations with the press. And Brian did not uh, pull any punches, but he was fair and he was a great guy. And reading the article today, uh, I learned a lot about Brian I didn't know. I never knew uh, the extent of uh, the physical uh, trials that Brian faced in his life, and you would never know it because he just came to work every week and sat through meeting after meeting after meeting. Uh, some Lots of meetings which lots of us as counselors would get up and leave, but Brian would stay there because he wasn't going to miss something that was really important that the public needed to know about. And then he would digest that in an amazing way. It, it is really a special talent for someone to be able to take that volume of material on a weekly basis and boil it down into what's really important about what that discussion was and present it as a real public service uh, for people in a community to know what's really going on uh, at their city hall. And, you know, uh, Councilor Ewing and I were talking about this last night, you never worried that Brian Barber was going to misrepresent a quote you gave him. You never had to worry that Brian was going to take something you said and put it in an article out of context uh, to make things look salacious or try to sell newspapers. Brian just reported the news, which sounds so simple, and yet he did it in such a great way. Um, I was talking to him just before we left for Christmas, and Brian, I think, said he wrote over 400 articles last year alone on city government. And one of the things that always impressed me the most about Brian in his professional capacity was that things did not fall off the radar with Brian. Uh, we would be talk. We would talk about things and say, "Okay, well, we're going to take this up and we'll revisit this in six months or so," uh, and then we would forget about it until Brian wrote an article about it uh, and reminded us in a gentle way that we weren't following up on what we were supposed to do. I can remember some many times when he would call me up and ask me, hey, where does this stand? And I had completely forgotten that I was supposed to be working on that. Uh, but he was just a gallant reporter. Uh, and that's something that I appreciate all the more after reading today's article and knowing how he suffered physically. Uh, and that you would never have known it. I, I knew he had had some health problems, but no, not nearly to the extent uh, that he did because he was always focused on being a great reporter and informing the public. So uh, I'll just say on a personal basis, uh, I was thinking about this last night. The thing I will miss most about Brian isn't reading his articles in the paper. It's just getting to talk with him. Uh, Things will come up, especially in the next year. My God, we're going to have a mayor's race and a street package, and we're not going to get to talk with Brian Barber about that? 
I don't know how we're going to do that. But I think about my dad, who died 10 years ago. And what I miss most about him on a daily basis is when things come up, little things, a good movie or a book, and I wish I had the chance to talk with my dad about that. And I know that's going to happen with Brian. It happened today. We were seeing a presentation which will go unnamed, and I pulled out my phone to send Brian a snide text about the presentation and realized he wasn't sitting behind us. So I'm just so thankful. I, I never thought that when I got elected to the council, I would be thankful that I got to know the guy that was covering City Hall, but I am, and I love him, and I'll miss him. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.